Hi, Nicole Young here, and I'm going to show you some of the new things that you're going to see in Photoshop CS6. The very first thing you'll notice is that the screen is a whole lot darker than in previous versions. That's because Photoshop allows us the ability to actually customize that interface. We can go from a little bit lighter and then kind of work our way up to a much darker interface. Now, another thing that Photoshop added in the preferences is the ability to auto save and that's under file handling. So if you have this checked, you can choose between five minutes and one hour. So that way when you're working on a file, it's automatically gonna save those changes in case for some reason Photoshop crashes and everything goes away. Another thing that they did was they basically minimized the filter screen. This is what it looks like in CS6. Let me just jump over to CS5 real quickly and show you the difference. Photoshop CS5, of course it has the filter gallery, but everything in the filter gallery is also in these little drop downs down here. What they did in CS6 is they actually removed a lot of those. So actually they removed all of them. So all you're gonna find down here are the filters that are only down here. And anything that's in the filter gallery, you're just gonna have to click on the filter gallery for. Now a few more things that they did that made things really cool working in Photoshop CS6 is let's look over here on the layers panel. I'm gonna switch over to a different image and you can see I have a lot of layers going on here. They actually gave us the ability to sort these. So I can sort these, let's say I just wanna look at all of my adjustment layers, so I click on that, but I can actually click more than that. I can click on the pixel layers, I can undo that, just click the pixel layers. I can sort by blending mode. Let's see, if I, I know I have an overlay in here somewhere, so you're able to actually sort those. You can turn that on and off. There are a lot of different things, name, effect, attribute, and color as well. So they made that uh, pretty cool. Really great for designers or people who have very layered workflows. And the last thing I'm gonna show you right now is the wonderful properties panel. I think I'm gonna absolutely love this. Uh, usually when you'd make an adjustment layer, it will pop up over here. Let me show you. Let's see, I'm back in Photoshop CS5. If I add an adjustment, it's going to change the adjustment panel so that it's basically just in this tiny little thing. You can expand it out a little bit if you want to, but this is as far as it can get. And then there's also a separate mask panel as well. So that's how it works in CS5. In CS6, they made it so that if I were to add a curves adjustment layer or any layer, it keeps the adjustment panel as is, but it adds the properties of that adjustment to the properties panel. I can make my changes and they're going to show up in the properties panel. They also removed the mask panel so it's a part of the properties panel. If I were to have something masked in this layer, I'm able to change the density, feathering, etc. in the mask panel so it's all now consolidated into one panel. And these are some of the new features in Photoshop CS6.